Welcome back to the book of Philippians, our last segment here. Can you believe that it's already over? Let's read it. Philippians 4, verses 21 through 23, the last portion of the book. Greet every saint in Christ Jesus. The brethren who are with me greet you. All the saints greet you, but especially those who are of Caesar's household. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. So this is how the epistle to the Philippians ends. And let's notice a couple things here that are interesting. Greet every saint in Christ Jesus. We all should be recognizing each other as brothers. We should recognize each other as sisters. We should be greeting each other. We have a certain connection. We're not just arbitrarily, generically Christians. We are connected to each other. So greetings are important. All the saints greet you, he says in verse 22, but especially those who are of Caesar's household. People might have wondered in Philippi, well, what's going on, you know? Is there any inroads happening? Are people receiving the gospel even among, among Caesar's household? And there were definitely some connections that Paul had where he knew that within Caesar's household, there were people who were Christians. And there always are. There's always people, people where you don't quite expect them. And it, you wouldn't expect maybe so much in Caesar's household, but he says they're there. All the saints greet you. You know who else greets you, though? You Philippians? You know, who, you know who else is greeting you, Philippians? Some of the saints who are in Caesar's household, they're greeting you. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. So Paul concludes his letter. And he tells the Philippians, may God be with you in all of your needs. He has you, he has his eye on you, and he has good plans for you. And so today we finish our little look at this little book, at this little book, the Philippians, this remarkable church that Paul came over to Macedonia and planted from nothing. But there's a lot of lessons there for us and for our churches. May our experience in Jesus increase and now let us pray together one last time here as we look in at the book of Philippians. Dear Father in heaven, we have studied uh, the whole letter, the epistle to the Philippians. We pray that we've picked up some good lessons here that will serve us well as we serve Jesus well. Strengthen every brother and sister. Watch over us, Lord, as we continue to look at your word. Please continue to be our guide in all of our studies and all of our walking, seeking to walk like Jesus. Now, Lord, be our helper and bless this day in our life. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, friends. Well, that's the end of the book of Philippians. Tomorrow morning, we're going over to the Old Testament and we'll have something new for you tomorrow morning. Bring your Bible. Have a beautiful day.